Hi everyone, Aldbar here. This is my solo walkthrough and guide to the heroic level 9 quest, The Keeper's Sanctuary. Enjoy. Hi everyone, Wardrick here. First you must go to House Jeresco and step in to the Drowning Sorrows Tavern. Over here you can pick up the quest. You must first have completed the Haunted Library quest to be flagged. The quest itself is located inside of the Delira's Tomb questing area. This happens to be one of those quests that nearly no one runs. So if you open up a party for this quest, chances are no one's going to join. Most people won't even recognize this quest if you just say the name. It's kind of an obscure one, but I assume there's some people who enjoy it. And you might have not known about it before, so here you go. Okay, the first thing you must know about this quest is that it's very heavy on traps and most importantly secret doors. If you don't have any way to find secret doors, you will not be able to complete this quest. It's basically mandatory. The main path is blocked off by secret door. Well, secret doors. Wherever you go, well, you'll see in just a moment. Most of the traps in this quest can be disabled. There's a few that cannot, but the ones that can't are always just a one shot. So they'll go off and that's it. I think that if you happen to be a trapper and enjoy doing traps, you'll probably enjoy this quest very much. As you can see, just from this main room, the way it leads off is blocked by a secret door. Here I can see on the map that there's another room that I can't get past you know, without pulling a switch. And that switch is hidden behind the secret door. I'm not sure about the requirements for this room. I'm just assuming it's intelligence. Here, now the way is open. You're about to see a trap that only shows up a few times in this game. This is a really evil trap. These prismatic walls are instant death if you walk through them. Now, the ones that everyone knows, they're the ones that come in the shroud. Phase 3 is a moving prismatic wall. 
This one's stationary. Basically, you're trapped inside. If you touch it, you scrape it, you're dead. You stub your toe, you die. So, just be very careful not to move around too much. And the undead can walk straight through it. And eventually, the barriers go down. So, not too bad. Just if it comes unsuspected, you run through it by mistake. You'll instantaneously die. Note to the people on the hardcore server. Okay, here we're going to start a new area. The door swings aside noisily, revealing a room of columns. The gimmick of this area is there'll be one passageway you walk down, pull a switch, and that will open up the door to one of the other passageways. You walk down it, pull a switch. Rinse and repeat, basically, until you get all the passageways. At the end of the final passageway, there'll be a blue key. That will open up the exit or the end, the place we need to go at the end. For now, though, I'm just going to clean out all the passageways one by one. I just go around this room counterclockwise. Guess what? Another secret door. I bet you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Kidding. Everything's a secret door here. It's all obvious passages. They're all just blocked with secret doors. I don't think the DCs on these doors is too hard. Hey, they're stealing all my breakables. <laughs> Breaking before I get to them. I was saying, I don't think the DCs, that means the difficulty checks on the secret doors over here is too hard. So it should be manageable with some kind of clicky of detect secret door. Or maybe true seeing. I just don't know. I haven't actually tried it myself with true seeing, so. I guess you'll find out. Guess what? Another secret door. This is just an optional for a chest. You really should make sure you've got Death Ward when you come into places like this. They can one-shot you.
I think you can say as a rule of thumb in this quest, if it looks like it probably is a secret door, then it, yeah, it is a secret door. And if it's not a secret door, it's going to be open with some kind of a switch, but basically, if it looks suspicious, like it's a big wall that probably opens, yeah, then it probably opens. The ascending wall opens up to reveal another gilded scroll case resting atop the altar within this room. Anyways, we're done here. Now the final passageway right in front of us is opened. I'm just seeing if there's any extra specters or wraiths that are still hanging around. Now I'm going to the head to the other side. This is off the main room, the main entrance room. And this is the area or section to the right. The door opens up to a room with a stepped altar at its center, where a single figure stands at its center. As you approach the figure atop the altar, a scalp is in the room. As the priestess's lifeless body crumbles to the floor, an unsealed letter slips from her words. This room also has a similar gimmick with having to go down some hallway to pull a switch to open up a door that will lead to a different hallway, but not as much as the other side. A lot of breakables here. I'm just waiting for all of the mobs to chase me. Take care of them all at once. I guess now I should go and clean up the top floor. Please don't skip this. You thought I was gonna go and shoot each one of these sarcophagi with my shuriken. Now why would I do that? I'm a melee character. Who uses his long jump to overcompensate. Anyway, anyways, just imagine trying to kill all these skeletons with my wimpy shuriken who does no damage. Anyways, this way I can also pick up all the stuff that they drop. I'd like to make a short shout out to my good mate Yeshon, who was the one who suggested running this quest. I'd like to say also that in general, and well generally speaking, I'm looking for a quest that players would find interesting to watch. So to me that seems to be either things that are very hard to do solo or seem to be impossible to do solo because of mechanics and if you've got any idea of a quest that is hard to solo 
or you think cannot be solved because it requires more than one player, or perhaps just a quest that has some kind of puzzle element that players usually just skip over, and you would like me to do it, please leave me a comment. I will definitely consider it. I am always looking for things that would be interesting to players, and I'll be happy to give it a go. I just might not think of it, because it might be obvious to me or easy to me, something that I do all the time, and other players may not. So, if you got any good ideas, please leave me a comment. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Something about these skeletons when they jump backwards, it's like they got no clip, they can jump as high as they want, it's crazy. Yeah, this dart trap goes off only once and doesn't seem to have a box. I'm just going to take a quick shrine and while I am, I would like to ask you, if you didn't already, please hit like and subscribe and I would appreciate it very much. Thank you. Here, this is an optional path. Uh, you must be able to pick lock or use knock. Here I've got mummy rot. If I want to get rid of it, I need to use remove curse and then remove disease. The way to remember the order is the alphabetic order. C, D, curse, disease. This over here is locked and I need to go get the blue key. If you want to know more about removing mummy rot, I actually made a quick bits video on the channel. some cool tips. Oh. 
Love how this trap sets the bookshelves on fire. Okay, I'm just gonna go back here. Well, I'm the right, and not to go to the left area. You can see on the map that they're like divided into three different sections. Check out this dead end. At least this time I didn't get the mummy rot. There we go. This is the blue key we need for the door all the way on the right side. I'm not sure about walking through the trap again. I don't know if the prismatic walls spring up again. I'm just not going to risk it and I don't have time for it. It doesn't seem to be possible to disable these blade traps. A simple coffin rests in the center of the pool in the mirror. This appears to be the final resting place of Sire or Phoenix. Ah, whatever. I, I guess not. Here we are, this is the final room. So 
And this trap can't be disabled either. Here there's two side areas, they open up once you start attacking the boss. They look like secret areas and it's pretty obvious they can open up, but you can't open up. They can't, you can't open them up manually. They only open up with the trigger from the boss. Complete the quest, you gotta pick up the scroll. And there you go. Anyways, as I said before, I think this is a pretty cool quest, but I know that nobody runs this quest. I I've been running DDO for like nine years now. And I've only been once in a party with this quest. And uh, other than that, I, I don't remember seeing this pop up as a quest that people run. It just, I guess, either people don't know it, or don't find the XP very attractive. I don't know what it is. Or, or maybe it's too hard to find always a trapper to do it. I really don't know. I run trappers a lot, so for me I end up doing this basically every past life I go through. I do it once, at least for the favor. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it's a nice quest. Again, like I mentioned before at the beginning, if you happen to know of any kind of quest that you think is worthy of making a video, I mean, I'm probably going to make a video for basically a walkthrough and guide of like any quest, but. I'll start with the ones that are most popular and people want to see the most. So if you got any good ideas, please leave me a comment, I'd appreciate it. And I definitely will consider it. Yeah, and that's it for this video. Well, if you benefited from this guide or were entertained by my walkthrough, I would appreciate it if you would hit like and subscribe. Thank you. Now you might want to check out some of my other videos. See you there. I'll burn out.